Hello, everyone, and welcome to the playoffs for EGFH Season 1 in Rocket League. Today, we are in the semifinal matches between the Woodstock Academy Centaurs and the Manchester Esports. Following this match, on the other side of the bracket, we have the Caner Tech Panthers facing the Notre Dame Green Knights. Whoever wins this will be playing in the live finals in Yukon or from Yukon on April 28th, so you don't want to miss that. I want to thank our sponsors real quick, the Yukon Gaming Club, the Yukon School of Engineering, and HyperX and Controller Chaos for making this season possible. Be sure to check out their links below, and we are also holding an MVP vote, so type exclamation point MVP to get in on the action. My name is Nick Vaudible and Brosik, and I am joined by... Digital Bacon, that's me. I'm going to be providing all the play-by-play. -play. Lovely, very lovely. Well, we have a pretty great match set up for you guys between these two teams, so why don't you introduce the teams to us? Yeah, we're going to have the Woodstock Academy Centaurs here going up against Manchester Esports. Woodstock Academy on the blue and Manchester in the red. Woodstock, that's going to comprise of Dan, Karyemas and Bowsma and four Manchester Esports. Expect to see Dark Tiger Slayer, AJ and Lamar. Lamar, a new name here. Audible, but that's actually missed attack. Unfortunately, having some PC issues, so he's had to go on over to the Xbox. Yeah, so that's going to be an interesting dynamic for him, trying to overcome some of the latency issues when getting into this first game for this best of five series. But it's going to be pretty good once we see the teams join the field. Yep, any second now. They should join their respective sides. Audible, what's waiting for that? Oh. Not even going to have to... <laughs> Don't even have to wait. <laughs> no, we, they're getting straight on. They're not going to waste any time. And it's good to see some anxious and really excited players get onto this pitch. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of great action between both of these players. We've been playing double round robin to lead up to this playoff for the semifinals between these two teams. The Centaurs are the number one seed going into these playoffs, and they already are putting a goal into the net, showing why they deserve that spot. Nice, simple solo dribble play here from Bowser Bar. Dark Tiger Slayer not gonna be able to catch on up, so that's up and over. First goal going to the Centaurs. And we're probably going to see a few more goals after that for the Centaurs. Typically, they have been just 3-0-ing the competition. The only games they have really dropped have just been due to draws because of inclement weather. So hopefully Manchester Esports, after the performance we saw from them last week, will be able to at least take a game off these guys to kind of get rid of the, the record that the <laughs> Centaurs have. Yeah, definitely. Remember, this is semifinals. All important matches here. Oh, a little bit of a cluster up. Lamar doing very well to get that away and follows through. Starting to be a bit of a nuisance. Good defense from Crazy MS to be able to get that away. Looking for the pass, but Dark Tiger Slayer cutting it on out. Oof. And we did actually manage to see Lamar go do pretty well in that Ooh. last series, but no, Bowser is just too strong and too confident on this def defensive line of Manchester as... He sets himself up and then finishes it off in the defense. Just didn't know what to do. They are scatterbrained from that one. Yep, clearly Bowser Bar not happy with just one goal. He wants to dominate and start here for the Centaurs as we're just reaching that one minute mark. Gonna see Dan coming out in the tumbler. Going for that air dribble. Ooh. Ooh. I'm loving it. I'm loving this confidence from the Centaurs here, Vodable. Yeah, typically they try to be a little bit more passive so they don't make too many mistakes, but now they know this is the finals, or the playoffs, the semifinals, trying to earn themselves that spot. And again, we see another player from the Centaurs. This time, it's Crazy MS with a crazy angle on this one to secure that goal. Yeah, just a lovely little flick there to get the ball moving towards the net, and then that was just out of reach for the defenders to do anything with. It just tumbled on forward, and that's the first... Go for Crazy MS in this game, but I doubt it's going to be the last for him here, Vod. Oh yeah, I believe in one of the series we saw like seven goals for uh, the Centaurs against some of their opponents. And it makes sense because of the level of skill differential we see between these mm. two. The Centaurs are all around the champion level, and then uh, I think Manchester are platinum. So that's like two different rank uh, rankings that are separating these two teams, typically. Yeah. 
Well, and it's all down to first going against fourth seed here. You know, they've had the weeks of the, you know, the round robins. So it comes down to this. So it's absolutely horrible for Manchester to come in here. But they're the guys that if they get a goal, they're going to start getting pumped up. Expect them to learn so much this game, really going into further season, developing these players. This is the type of game which is so important for them. Yeah, and this is the first season that EGFH is doing an actual Rocket League uh, series. So it's good to see these teams come out, get some early experience, and then when they have more competition in the future, oh, they might be able to stop some of these shots. But crazy MS getting the second goal. We're looking out for Dan after this one to see if he can put up two goals of his own. And he's going to have to. Doesn't want to be lacking behind the rest of his team. Look at that from Crazy MS though. Only 130 points compared to Bowser Bar's 270 here, Bod. Yeah, Dan's been playing a defensive role, and I think Crazy MS has just been going for some more setups, and Bowser Bar's just been the, the main aggressor for the Centaurs team, but they all don't really need to worry too much about their roles just based off their mechanical skill that we've seen. So I feel like they're just trying to have fun with it at this point. Crazy MS actually looked like he might have disconnected for a second. And that actually leads to the first goal for Lamar. Mr. Taco getting the first goal as we expected. Yeah, Mr. Taco being the one to look out for on this Manchester side. And definitely what accuracy there. I love that he had the open goal, but he was still going to put that away into the corner. So that even if someone from the Centaurs were able to get back to the net in time, it's still the safest shot he can put on. Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh. Well, oh, we crazy was two goals from Dan, but no, Lamar is going to come out with them. Yeah, I was going to mention that Crazy was trying to type in chat because he did actually freeze earlier for a second, maybe with just some latency on his end. And unfortunately, he wasn't too focused on the game, and Lamar definitely was, and he capitalized on that and got those two goals in the favor of Manchester. Well, Rock League is a game where anything oh. can happen. Oh, Belzebub with so much disrespect here, getting himself a hat trick. And typically what we've seen in the previous weeks from Balzabar is that he's kind of stayed on the defensive end, but now I guess they've switched up the roles instead of Dan being the, the main striker for the Centaurs. It's now Balzabar's time to step up to the pitch. He probably was upset that he wasn't nominated for the MVP and he saw that Dan was getting all the action. So wanted to change things up for this series. Oh, but no, oh, Dan. Oh. oh my goodness. Oh, this is what the Tumblr is good at, just blocking. What a block from him, being able to send that under no one back in net there, Volleyball, and that's just going to roll on in. That was beautiful. Just the, the typical fancy goals that we see from Dan coming out to play for this <laughs> first game. This is only the first game of this best of five, so still plenty of more Rock League. Could see another goal from Lamar, but not going to cement that hat trick just yet for himself. All right, but Dark Tiger just going to push that towards the corner, try and buy that time. Crazy MS. Oh, he's up in the air. He's doing something crazy indeed with the drop. Oh, Dark Tiger. oh so much overconfidence from the Centaurs here has really cost them as there's no defender back for this shot. Yeah, pretty much explained that perfectly. Overconfidence, overcommits, left and right. All three players went for that one. Only one needed to. I feel like they just wanted to rack up the score in their favor. And I'll try and get a hat trick on their side, but they can't afford to be that confident against this Manchester team because they are keeping it closer than we would have expected. Yeah, on paper, this would have been absolute domination. And Manchester, they are looking up to the task, being able to get that away. Dark Tiger just getting body blocked there, getting <laughs> absolutely removed. Lamar looking for a shot, it is going to be wide. He will follow it through to the corner. He has Dark Tiger ready to get this ball, knocking it towards the center there. And that's a long shot from Crazy. Dan setting oh. this up, and Crazy puts it away for his own hat trick. And that could have just as easily been a goal scored by Dan, trying to get that redirect, keeping the play alive for the Centaurs, and then Crazy on that rebound just to solidify that hat trick, as he mentioned, for himself. So now we have two players with a hat trick, looking to Dan for the last minute to try and score two more goals so that they can all have one and participate in the fun. Yep, so far, two goals is definitely not out of the question. Just all depends on whether Bowser Bar or Crazy MS will allow Dan to have those goals. I feel that's really what's holding them back, is his own teammates might fancy a shot or two themselves on target. Gonzalez oh. can slow it down. 
Good stuff by Dark Tiger. Dan coming on through. He's going to set something up in the middle of the post. Tiger just going to look to get that away. Pushes it. Oh, into oh, it. No. oh, crazy. Just getting back in time. What a save. He tried to go for the demo there just to take the defender out of the play completely, but it did not work out. He ended up pushing him further towards the ball in a, a better position to get the save. And with eight seconds on the clock, nothing that Manchester can do to come back from this game. But they got to feel confident. They got three goals against the best team in the league. Yeah, definitely. Looking at that game, Vodbol, the thing I'm most impressed about Manchester is that composure. They kept their cool. They didn't become panicky. They didn't just absolutely crumble away. No, they kept playing a good game. And that was the, the best way that Manchester could take this first game. They they noticed what the Centaurs were doing wrong and like the gaps in their, their pressure that they were putting on them. And then they capitalized on that. They saw the overcommits, they countered it, and then they got those three goals. Now they just need to do that a bit earlier, maybe see a bit more out of AJ because he was kind of lackluster on the defense and they'll be looking good going to that second game. But we are going to take a quick break before we get into the second one and we will be right back in a moment. Back into game two, kickoffs as always start a game. Dark Tiger not going to be able to get onto that, just missed time in the dodge ever so slightly. Lamar not needed, that's going to cross net. Oh, Dark no. Tiger again, getting a couple of whiffs here. Vodable, this is not the first game anymore. Dark Tiger might fall back to the script that was prepared beforehand. Oh no! <laughs> Yep, and the script is going exactly how it was written, with Dan scoring the first goal, typically how we saw him pulling off these crazy plays, just bobbing and weaving through the defense to secure that first one. Well, we know what Manchester are capable of. It is much more than that. Don't count them out. They've still got a lot of things to pick up. And I'm liking this sort of variety from Manchester as well. The use of the Nissan Skyline, the use of... Oh, oh what a save. What a save. That was a beautiful way to get that pressure away from themselves and push downfield. A Dark Tiger almost capitalizing on that misclear from the Centaurs, which could have led to the first goal to actually tie the series up, which would have been the first time we'd see Manchester and the Centaurs tied up. Yep, and it's all down to those demos, Vodable. Manchester really bring them on out, and it's disrupting what the Centaurs are trying to Ooh. do. Off the post. It's going to linger about for a little bit. Good clear from Lamar. Dan being brought into question. Good clear to the corner. Yeah, there's just been all-out aggression from Dan and Bowser Bar now. He noticed that he had to back off for a second so they didn't overcommit and get countered like before in the first game. So they're definitely a bit more wary about their opponent's ability to get those counterattack opportunities but no the setup a dark tiger just clutching it out for manchester oh nice little pop up and over but dark tiger will try and clear that away Ooh. lamar nice that's up high there that's off to the side and it's hard to put on a shot that buys a bit of time for the defense of manchester to reset itself you can see it here they're a little clustered up though and that's a little bit scary they weather through the storm get down to their opponent's end and once again unfortunately dark tiger slayer just pulls off a little bit of a whiff there volleyball this lad you can see he's feeling the nerves in game two dark tiger slayer we can brought on back in but no Pressure being alleviated. Centaurs have the ball where they want it down their opponents and they're just binding their time. They're waiting for a moment to strike. You can see it moving side to side. Bowser Bar is going to set this up in the middle. 
no follow through is a little bit risky they can see now they don't want to send all three players forward into an attack ma into the corner Oh, lovely pinch to be able to send that away. Dan's putting it up high. He wants to follow through himself. And Crazy, though, is actually getting in the way of it. Good close Ooh. from Lamar, who really has come back into this game. The Centaurs are being the biggest problem for their team currently because they keep getting in each other's way, as you mentioned. But also the defense from Manchester has really stepped up. I've seen a lot more out of Lamar this time. And he's been taking care of that defensive role for his team. And it's really paid off in this game. Only one goal. Who would have thought it after that first game? It was 7 3, and now we're just looking at a single lonely one. Centaurs <laughs> might be able to get some golf, but Lamar, who really, I can't stress it enough, is playing absolutely out of his mind oh, here. No. Oh, no. <laughs> Low on boost, sends it off to the side there, bodies looking for these solo plays that might just set something up. But Lamar, good follow through here, looking to connect this with the wall. That's bounce, that's in Come the on, middle. you got this. Oh. oh no, and that's going to oh, no. net Lamar. No. Oh my goodness, Ooh, that's as close as we see. can get. <laughs> Oh, and everyone's missing the ball. Okay, eventually someone had to put a ball into some net, and unfortunately for Manchester, but fortunately for the Centaurs, they were the one to secure that goal with Balzabar being the third man in the rotation, getting that pass after the mayhem that was happening on Manchester's defensive end. Yeah, it is just all that panic of fun set in for Manchester, and they've been playing such a better defensive game, getting really good clears coming on out. Lamar, good 50-50, crazy, really being brought into question. Lamar's going to send that off wide. He's got Gonzalez in the middle. AJ is there. Oh, unfortunately, Lamar, just with that little lack of skill, not being able to connect, it was a good follow-through cleanup, though, from his teammate. It actually worked out in their benefit that he wasn't able to get the connection there because all three of his teammates oh, pushed shot. up. But no, as you mentioned, what a shot from Dan again. The man with the plan. And unfortunately, the plan for the defense was to throw everything at it. And it still didn't work as he just snuck it right past them again. Yeah, notice as well how Dan uses that dodge to get even more power onto that ball for the ball. This is a lad that knows his mechanics. Oof. I like the play from Lamar there. He noticed that they weren't going for the kickoff, so he just slowed it right down and tried to take them off or catch them off guard, but still didn't work out too well. And with 15 seconds on the clock, there's no hope, I feel, from Manchester in this game, but definitely an improvement going 7-3 to three and now 3-0. to zero. At least the score lines are a bit closer in this one. Yeah. Oh, that's just going to hit the ground. The Centaur is going to be able to take game two. And like you said, and I said at the start there as well, this is a big game for Manchester because they are learning massive amounts from playing against such a strong side. Look at how that first game, there was so much disrespect from Centaurs. Them knowing they're the strongest sides, they did those triple commits, which Manchester did punish. Coming into this game, Manchester had to really work their socks off in defense, and they have looked really quite solid back there at times. Oh, it was great, especially Lamar on the defensive end, but we need to see more out of uh, Dark Tiger and AJ. Maybe we need AJ to go for more of a disruptive play style to mm. demo the offense or the defenders from Centaurs to kind of set up Lamar and Dark Tiger for an open lane of entry towards the net. But we are going to head it over to a quick break before we get into our third and potentially final game, so we'll be right back. Game three. This could be it. This could be the final game in the series with Centaurs maybe being able to do a sweep. The only team in the way though, Manchester, they've got to draw from all their pools of energy. They've got to use every little bit of magic oh. they have. 
Dark Tiger just getting blocked on out there. Centaurs, every single game get pushed a little bit harder. Manchester are just up in the ante. They are cranking that dial. This is great to see such improvement from Manchester. And we saw that in the series against, I believe it was the Panthers last week. They were able to hold on to their lead and get some crazy wins after losing the first game. And they just improved ever more after the games kept progressing. But now, oh, there's a chance for the Centaurs that they still can't secure that goal. <laughs> oh, it's My still goodness. bouncing on around. <laughs> AJ there needs to start using that A button just to flip around a little bit because he was just stuck. He was glued to that ground. The Sentio well, just does not have the height in it so that it will bounce it on away. Oh, He's still in front of the net. Almost. Oh. That was the, the greatest offensive pressure I've seen from AJ this entire series, and I need to see mm. more of that from him. Oh my goodness, they're just so cool, and they still oh, can't well get him in the <laughs> Coming across, clutch in front of the net, Dan doing a nice little flip, but AJ coming up strong to disrupt it. Bowser Bar looking to clear his away, that's going into the middle. Crazy will knock that off to the side and that'll be up in the air. Crazy looking to get the follow through, well done by Dark Tiger, holding the back line down with a good shot. Oh, good enough. I am loving these rotations from Manchester, especially Lamar going back to be like the clutch savior for that defense. Yet again, drops down. Oh, no, Dark Tiger can't get it. I, no one can connect. Oh, okay, eventually, Crazy <laughs> was able to secure the first goal. So look at this fake here, Vaudible. Look, Dan going up in the end, knowing that he doesn't really have the best touch, it's just going to completely let it drop down. Communicated that to Crazy, and Crazy comes in and just absolutely pelts down the back of the net. No one on the fence, abs like, you know, expecting it all. And that's why it's a fake. You're playing those mind games. Yeah, and that worked out so well to secure that goal. A goal they desperately needed as well because of all the pressure they've been facing from Manchester. This is the longest time the game has gone on without that first goal being scored by the Centaurs. So, as mentioned before, so much improvement, but we need to see even more from Ooh. Manchester, at least take a game from these guys. Dark Tiger looking to get that back. It does go to Lamar and Lamar with a good 50 50 to send that off wide, not being able to get the follow through here. AJ, unfortunately, going to leave that net open. It's good that the Centaurs didn't follow through quick enough, so they're able to reform themselves. Lamar going for the dribble. Being able to get the block. AJ is back. A little bit of a whiff. Dark Tiger. The rotations here, Vodable, are so much better in game three. Oh. <laughs> They've just been a little bit off the mark every time. If they can up their accuracy, maybe just change the position they're going towards the net, they'd be able to be tied up, maybe even in the lead at this point, which just mm. shows how well this team is doing, even though they're being pushed to the brink, because this is their potentially final game in this playoffs they need this win to keep their dream alive to make it to those live finals yeah definitely manchester are looking like a clever team that are learning from every experience it just seems that time that sort of veterancy of playing the game is all they're lacking and it's one of those things practice makes perfect you just gotta keep training away manchester because you're looking Really? Like, you've got tons of potential here. With Lamar going around that wall, getting demo Dan, knowing the destructive power that Lamar has been. <laughs> oh, no! No! Oh, uh, that could have been a save as well, but unfortunately, they double committed. A big panic there after seeing Crazy get two demos in a row and pushing it towards and the both net. on Lamar. Yeah, both on Lamar. <laughs> As soon as he respawned, it was like, nope, you go back to the Shadow Realm. Just absolutely removed him from the board there. Well, they knew how much of a threat Lamar has been this entire series. So he had to be taken out because he's so strong defensively and on the offensive end. So if he takes out the, the main play, like the key player for Manchester, the rotations and the defense kind of falls apart a bit. Ball's going to linger about into the middle. No one from Manchester coming through to pick it on up. Looking to send that back to the corner, and Dark Tiger does get a nice little build-up run going. AJ is there, a bit too late to the ball. It's going to bounce on out, but Dark Tiger looking to pick this up quite comfortably. Still a chance for the... Oh, no. 
Come on. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> Dan knew what he was doing there. He didn't want to overcommit on that play just to wait for it to drop down just in case there was a miss from his teammates and all the <laughs> opponents who unfortunately were triple committed on offense and couldn't get back in time for the save. Well, it's coming down to the last 30 seconds now. Even in that last minute, Vod, you've got to go all out into attack. You've got to get aggression. You can't just wait back in your own net. You've got to just keep applying pressure and hope for that crack because here we're coming down and manchester need goals badly like you said they want to survive in this tournament and mars gonna start bringing out those demos they're really effective when used Oof. right the problem is no one back in that net yeah and even if they were able to get one goal there they would have needed to get two quick kickoff goals to at least tie it up but now down by four they're playoff run has unfortunately ended and the centaurs will be moving on to those live finals against the winner of the green knights and the panthers who will be playing after this series so a great performance from both teams obviously the, the centaurs the number one seed kind of expected but we're definitely going to see more improvement from manchester esports in the future yep but like we said centaurs going on through a really dominant performance and you wouldn't expect anything less from the first seed just go after go from them today, Vod. That was uh, amazing from the centaurs and also amazing from Manchester's. But thank you guys for tuning in to the first match with the centaurs booking a trip to UConn to play in the finals. We're going to take a quick break. And when we come back, the Cantor Tech Panthers will take on the Notre Dame Green Knights to see who joins the, <clears throat> the centaurs at UConn. But before we head out, I'd like to thank our sponsors, the Yukon Gaming Club, the Yukon School of Engineering, HyperX, and Controller Chaos for making this season possible. And be sure to check out their links below. We're also holding an MVP vote, so type exclamation point MVP to get in on the action. And this is Nick Vaudible and Brozik. And you can find me at Vaudible on Twitter or just search Vaudible.info in your directory on Google or whatever. And you can find my social media there. And... <laughs> And I've been Digital Bacon. You can find me here on Twitch or over at Twitter at Digital Bacon One. Guys, thanks for joining us, and we'll see you after this little break.